guys, we're back with um, Reggie, and let me tell you what, girl, he's a monster. He is a monster. I am completely covered with mud because he went out and dug all in the mud. And I want you to watch him. I mean, he's this bulldog's very tolerant, but what he's doing, he's trying to go with this bulldog. I don't want you to worry, though, girl. I'm gonna get him trained, but I swear he's already grown like another inch. Don't you think, Summer? He's huge. Anyway, girl, he jumped all over me. He got my new jeans, all my, my new Christmas jeans. Not really, that's just the storyline. <laughs> Sounds good. So I was like, those jeans aren't new. Oh, they're still, they're my favorite one. All right, so the way I'm, you know, I'm just, I've got my leash hooked to my electronic collar. And I got in the biggest fight with my friend John from Greece over the weekend. Which we're not in a fight anymore though, but what I was explaining to him, The way I, I, you know, am not approaching this dog is, you know, one, correcting him for jumping all over me, getting me all muddy, doing all these things. I'm really just using indirect pressure under the, and I don't want to say guys, but under the umbrella of I don't want the leash made tight. Just by doing that is partly why he's not jumping all over me or and, and i want you to understand girl if i was doing it as a correction based dynamic uh he would be starting to have a problem with me and you could blame him Who could you? so all this is big time indifference you know and i mean for the psychology version you know, Cliff Notes 101 would be, you know, avoidance training the principle, I behave this way because I feel successful. Not because he fears punishment. He has no fear of punishment. And, and we don't want him to have a fear of punishment. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you research that, and that's what the clicker people in all this don't understand, the least effective way to use one of these collars is a punishment-based dynamic. All right, I'm gonna do my pager and my start walk. In my muddy, muddy jeans. <laughs> So what I'm saying is I'm communicating, you know, obviously through the leash, how could he not think the leash was something to do with me? It's in my hand. You know, but it's nonverbal. If he is to look at me, I don't, I certainly seem different. I don't seem any more interested in him than any of these, but I'm orchestrating it all along the whole time, girl. I think we need to tell your mom, this dog might need the three month training. How big as this dog is? And don't worry, girl, he's not missing any meals. He eats like a wild hyena. Uh oh. And this, oh, well, and he drinks like an elephant. No, he drinks like a camel. Now he's just peed on our set. Now he's like, no. Now, now I'm comfy. We'll edit that yeah. part out. We'll edit that part out. All right, listen. That never happened. So I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, because you play tug of war stuff, it would be very easy for this dog to think being on the leash was a version of tug of war. But I'm, I'm far from that. I, I don't want the dog getting any jerks. But if there is any pressure on that leash, he's feeling the page. He already likes the cut. So I do, you know, that's what I'm, oh, you precious little angel. Precious little angel. And that's what you've got to say to yourself. We're either augmenting or decreasing behaviors in dogs at all times. I mean, things are either augmenting or decreasing behaviors in me all the time. Depending on what I'm watching on YouTube. You precious little angel. So I'm, I'm not really giving anything away right now. What I do want him to understand is you know, and it, it's got to all be broken down into subtask. Right now, the subtask is really just moving my direction with 
the help of that pager. I'm not trying to say to him, do it without the pager by any thread. He's a little mud ball. Oh, and he gets right back in there. Oh, he is precious. He is absolutely precious. All right, job one. Uh, we need to order him a Christmas cup. And, and because I've already rewarded him for laying down, girl, my job here is now I want you, this is all, get in on this summer because what he's doing, this is what I call checks and balances. He's making sure, he was making sure they stayed back. I'm not even really was not even really intending to work him on this because he's actually doing it on his own, but he's gonna make sure this one and this one aren't moving in on his territory. And by territory, I mean hot dogs. All right, so that's my job though. And that's what I want you to understand though. That's how I'm gonna spend this week, helping this dog understand. Let's make communicate. All right, so now I need to get him out of there a little bit. So I, I'm really now it's going to be heightened reality. Reggie! Oh, precious, precious. You precious ouch! You have something called treat level ouch. Good. Yeah. A picture of that mother girl. All right, now watch. Because he's already. Oh, maybe you already worked him on that. Oh, he. Oh, that's right. He did have the thing where you taught him to kind of go flat. Well, I'll tell you what's uh, helping him move right into the advanced classes, girl. This is my job. Saying down, pointing, doing any of these things. Checks and balances. What, what's checks and balances? Look at him. He's trying to, and that's what they do. I'll push you away with my nose. I'm going to tell you, my job is to be the fastest gun in the West when it happens. Light a hand. It's going great, girl. Bye.